Hi, welcome to my kitchen. My name is Morgan. Today we're gonna to be preserving all things peppers. I have bell peppers that I just need to chop up and get in the freezer. I have some jalapenos underneath all these bell peppers that I wanna turn into some more cowboy candy. And I'm just gonna be using the leftover brine that I made with my very first video of, of candy, cowboy candy. And then we are going to be just pickling some banana peppers so we can have them for sandwiches. So let's get started. So if you watched my last video, you saw I made a blood orange marmalade chicken freezer meal. So I wanted to show you all what that looked like. I had made rice and had this chicken in the slow cooker on low for about four hours and I was left with this much liquid and I did add one half cup liquid aminos and it turned out so good I'm telling you it was just bursting with citrus flavor it was delicious and we're not letting that liquid go to waste so I'm jarring it up and I'll use it the next time I make rice and we got six portions out of that freezer meal for lunches and dinners. So for these bell peppers, I am just giving them just a thicker kind of uh, chop. And I'm going to be using them in my breakfast scramble that I like to make. That my husband loves for me to make. So... I kind of want them thicker because they cook down with a with a bunch of onions and they will shrink the longer they cook. So I had never thought to keep these pepper tops. Just because whenever I was growing up, my mom would always just throw them away like with the rest of the compost of the pepper and I didn't ever think that I would I could keep that and eat it even though it is just plain old bell pepper still. Until I was watching Jamarelle Stewart and her freezer meals, that's who really got me into it making freezer meals um, and I was watching her cut up peppers and I'm like why haven't I been doing that I've been throwing away perfectly good food this entire time so now I always keep my pepper tops at least when it comes to bell peppers all right, I got all of our bell peppers chopped up. I'm just gonna get them in the fridge so I can start chopping up my jalapenos and then the banana peppers. For these jalapeno peppers, any of the peppers that I find that I had in the fridge just a little too long where the seeds have turned brown, I am removing those seeds, but all the rest of them, I am keeping the seeds in because with that previous batch of uh, cowboy candy, that one I had removed all the seeds. So I'll have like a spicier version with this one with the seeds and ribs remaining in the jalapenos. And then with that other one, it'll just be a little less spicy in case I wanna take it to like family get-togethers or anything like that. That is one good thing about like making your own cowboy candy is you can determine what spice level you want. And I will just make sure to label my jars when I'm done saying that this one is the spicy version for 2023. and ready before my baby wakes up. I'm currently watching him on the monitor and it'll be a lot easier if everything's prepped and ready to go 
So then when I put him down for his bedtime, I can just go ahead and can and freeze everything then. So I'm not trying to do all of it while he's just napping. As like in my past couple videos, I've shown the prep work that goes into it because it's so much easier having all of those things like the tomatoes or peppers prepped, ready to go before I start my canning session. So it's one less thing to worry about while I'm in the thick of it. A food processor would make your job a thousand times easier here. I don't have a food processor, so I'm just using what I have and a trusty old chef's knife works just as well. Just takes a little bit more time. So I'm just quartering the jalapeno once I get it topped and then dicing it from there. Because while they are being cooked down in the vinegar, they will shrink down. Because if you go back and you watch my very first video of canning cowboy candy, I show the before and after of it boiling down and cooking down in the vinegar. jalapenos again. So I'm going to get these in the fridge and then I'm going to work on cutting up my banana peppers and then probably by that time my baby will be awake. So I'll see what I can get done. But if not, we'll be back later tonight. So I am just topping these banana peppers, removing any seeds and ribs that I can. And then I'm going to be cutting them anywhere from a quarter to half an inch in thickness. worth of banana peppers here so I'm gonna clean up all of the seeds and everything all the spiciness going on and then we are going to start on the cowboy candy and the banana peppers getting then pickled so I was planning on doing a whole new brine for the banana peppers but I'm just gonna use some leftover cowboy candy brine and that'll be a lot easier and then I don't have to make anything else so I'm gonna go ahead Get the brine into our pots. I'm gonna put the jalapenos in here and the banana peppers in my smaller pot and get them heating up thoroughly. And once they've kind of shrunk down in size, then we will get them in the canner. So our vinegar is boiling for the banana peppers. Just let those shrink down and this one is beginning to simmer so I'm gonna go ahead and add the jalapenos in and let that come up to a boil
So we preserved up 11 cups of diced bell pepper. So I got four half pints of some more cowboy candy with the seeds, so it'll be a little extra spicy. And then one half pint of banana peppers. So thank you all so much for coming along with me as we preserved up all the peppers. And please make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks. Bye.